Hello traders and welcome to Stock Goodies Chart School. Standard deviation is a statistical measure of volatility. Charters can use it to measure expected risk and to determine the significance of certain price movements. Price moves greater than the standard deviation show above average strength or weakness. Now, in order to get the concept of standard deviation, we're not going to use candlestick charts in this lesson. This is a standard solid line chart with a one period simple moving average added, which gives us the dots, which are the close on each particular day. Okay, so this close was much lower than this close, and this close was much higher than this close. And what we're looking for is the distance between the closes right here. That was about a 40 cent difference between this close right here and the next one. Another 20 cents up, another 20 cents up. This was almost 30 cents up here. Then another 15 cents, then another 25 cents. When the, in this range, average closes are very close together. And especially right in here, the closes aren't changing hardly at all. Now, why do we like to study volatility? Okay, one of the main reasons, let's draw a line, an imaginary line through these tops right here that creates a trend line of resistance. And when the stock breaks above this descending trend line of resistance right here, the huge volume comes in and the stock closes 40 cents higher. That's exactly what you want to see on a breakout above a trend line of resistance is huge volume and a very volatile move, followed by two more days of 20 cents up. So volatility is good on trend line or chart pattern, neckline support and resistance levels. Okay. So basically, let's go ahead and load up the standard deviation on this chart for AMD here at StockCharts.com. Okay, the first thing I have is this one period simple moving average, which gives us the closes. Okay, the standard deviation is down here. Click in the indicators box and click on standard deviation. Now the standard setting is a 10 day look back period. But since there are 21 days in a trading month, you can use 21 for medium term charts. And if you are a long term trader, a 250 day parameter, which is how many trading days there are average in a year, that works best on daily, weekly, and monthly charts. So right here, I'm going to add a simple moving average set at the 250-day period. Go ahead and click Update. And this is going to give you your standard deviation at the standard setting at 10 with a 250-day moving average. So this means over a one-year period, the average distance between closes is 13 cents. And right now, it's only closing at about 6 cents a day, either higher or lower. So standard deviation is very low right here. But there were two periods of extreme deviation or volatility. And that was on this breakout above this trend line right here on huge volume that broke it out into blue sky territory above all levels of resistance. Okay, so that was a very volatile up move. It also showed the top pretty clearly that this was the highest high on this chart up until this time period. And standard volatility had started to turn down even before the high was reached, meaning that the rally was running out of steam. Okay, then it went through a period of consolidation. Now running flat after a huge 
uptrend is generally bullish. And this time, when it broke above all levels of resistance right here, on this day, that was a very volatile move. And that was the first indication that volatility was coming back into the stock. Unfortunately, right here, there was a huge gap down this day, either on bad earnings or bad news. And the stock fell hard. Okay, now it's in a period of consolidation after a serious downtrend. And standard volatility has gone well below the yearly average. So right now, this stock can do one of two things. If there's a trend line here at support and it breaks below it, that is going to make standard volatility go up because there will be a lot of people selling out of this stock when support is broken. Now, if the trend line at the highs is broken to the upside, that will also increase volatility. Volume will pick up. People will see that it is breaking above all levels of resistance right here. And it will go up, hopefully, to test this old high here. Now let's look at some of the signals standard deviation is given on this one-year chart for AMD. This is a one-year daily chart. And there were four or five instances of extreme volatility. Okay, the first one when it broke above the one-year average was on this day when it broke support. It broke support again and fell. It got really volatile on this day because that was a huge down day. This close was much lower than this close. Okay, so that was an extreme down move, a very volatile down move. Okay, then it finally bottoms here. And there's a little bit of a a green move right here when it breaks above this trend line of resistance. So there was a little bit of volatility there. It really didn't, you know, the volume was great, but it really didn't get too volatile. That was a nice steady move up. Then it forms kind of a topping pattern here. Not sure if it's going to go up or down, but it is a consolidation and an uptrend. And when it breaks above the trend line of resistance on the biggest volume for a number of days on this chart since way back here. Okay, that is an extremely volatile move as it breaks out into blue sky territory above all levels of resistance on the chart. Okay, then it becomes less volatile as it consolidates and then forms another trend line of resistance. And when it finally breaks above that on huge volume, it becomes very volatile. But then again, the bad earnings. People were betting on good earnings, and there was the bad earnings, the drop, the extreme volatility on the drop. Now let's take a look at a two-year weekly chart for VALE and the signals that standard deviation at the 10 period is giving. Okay, first of all, it's showing right now for the last 10 weeks, the average close over the last 10 weeks is a difference of a dollar. Okay, on a, on a $15 stock, that's about 7.5% change week over week. So there is money to be made here. Now, what I find best on this setup of this time frame of the chart and this setting is that little tiny chart patterns work great. Okay, here is a bullish double bottom chart pattern, and it closed this week above neckline resistance right here. And it ran from $21 to about $24.50 over the course of the next three weeks. Okay, then it double topped. A bearish double top chart pattern showed up. And this week right here, it closed below neckline support. Then it formed a level of support that was broken. And volatility went wild on that huge move down. Here's another example. This is a descending trend line of resistance. And when it breaks above it and closes right here this week, that is the highest close in quite a while. It beat that one. Volume picks up and volatility picks up as the spread widens between the closes. And it runs from 19 to about 2050 over the course of the next three weeks. Then it double tops again. This is a bearish double top chart pattern. And when it breaks below support right here, 
okay it falls hard it tries to find support right here and when it breaks below it at 16 on this week it falls to below $13 then does a bullish cup and handle chart pattern and when it breaks above neckline resistance right here on this week it goes up and the beginning of volatility is big because that was a huge move from under 14 to almost $16.